サムライフラッグチャンネルへようこそ私はポーランド出身のダリアと言いますインタビューしていきたいと思います So where are you from guys? California California Are、oh, you all from California? Well, yeah Okay so you're friends? Yes. yes. I see. And what, what are your names?、Uh, Stephanie. Stephanie. Eric. Eric. Tom. Tom. Jess. Jess. I'm Daria. Nice to meet you guys. So, for how long have you been staying here? A couple of weeks. A couple of weeks. Already?、Mm-hmm. Really? So, how long are you going to stay l i k e in total? Maybe the next weekend. Next weekend. Okay, so one more week.、Yeah. Where have you been traveling to already? Pretty much around, right? Uh, yeah, to Kyoto and Kyoto. Tokyo. Osaka. Okay. What was your favorite spot in Japan so far? I like Tokyo. Tokyo? Yeah. yeah. Tokyo. 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 Tokyo
Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Wow. It's so nice in Poland, it's probably so cold. Oh no. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. You probably already know something about the culture here, like it's a bit different. Is there anything like you would want to bring back to your country, like from here? The Is there anything like politeness, politeness and like how Becoming quiet us. Yeah, how quiet people are in public. Quiet. Nice. Only you would say that. <laughs> so like it's pretty loud? In the US. I live in New York. I see, wow. How about the trains? Like weren't you overwhelmed like with the packed trains or no, not so much? Again, they're nicer than the New York. subway. Yeah. Okay, cool. How about like, did you try any Japanese alcohol, like sake? We did sake. Yeah. Um, How did you like it? It was good. Yeah. Good sake is good. Bad mm-hmm. sake is it's really bad. bad. But yeah. um, good sake is good. <laughs> I don't love sake. She does. <laughs> okay. Okay. Do you have any favorite drink? Like, yeah, I know you were at yesterday. <laughs> But like, did you try something already? Like he did sake last night. Yeah, no. Oh, already? Oh, we did conveyor belt sushi. He liked the conveyor belt sushi. Ah, yeah, that's so nice. Yeah. So, are you gonna stay here also for a while? Yes. yes. Yeah. Just a week. A few days. Yeah. Oh, a few week, days maybe. only. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Will you be going to some other places than Tokyo? Yes, Kyoto. Kyoto as well. Yeah, yeah. That's so nice. So, so we can share the. Yeah, yeah exactly. Exactly. All the good <laughs> yeah. Super nice. Super nice. And what do you think about Japanese people? So Lovely. Fun. Super Lovely. helpful, so nice. Right. Oh, Every so time cool. we look lost, we don't even have to approach someone. Oh. They give us They're very lost. nice. Really cute. Yeah. We look very lost very often. <laughs> Most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> That's sweet. That's sweet. I'm glad you had only good experience so far. And how about the places you're staying at? Like, is it hotel or in Kyoto? What kind of place did you stay at? We're at a hotel. Yeah. Hotel. Yeah, we Was it nice? Done. Yeah. It very nice. did the job. Uh-huh. Yeah. Was it like futon? We did that in... Um, in Kyoto, half in Kyoto, and uh-huh. then and then the Art Islands. We did in Uno. Like, in Could Uno you like also. sleep properly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It was actually, it was nice. The new yeah. shoes thing, very cool. The rice yep. mask, it's oh, nh- nice. You'll like yes. it. That's good. That's good. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Thank Enjoy you. Rest of yeah. your stay Have a good, good luck Thank filming you. and everything. Thank you. Fun. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> ね、なんか最初の一組はアメリカ人でカリフォルニア出身で、一人が日本で生まれたってことでしたね。やっぱりみんなその動物カフェとか好きでしたね。じゃあまた次のインタビュー続けていきましょう。Hi, nice to meet you. Where are you from? I'm from Finland. Finland. We're all from Finland. Ah, yeah. oh, okay. So you're from, like, you've been friends since yeah. a long time ago? Yeah. Ah, oh, that's so nice. So what are your names? My name is Matthias. Matthias. Miska. Miska. Sylvester. Sylvester. Okay, nice to meet you. My name is Daria. What are you doing here? Are you traveling in Japan? I'm an exchange student uh-huh. from southern Japan. Oh, and nice. I came here to meet them for oh, like so a nice. week. Mm. Yeah, and we are traveling here uh, Travel. for a few weeks. For a few weeks? Yeah, so long, right? Yeah. Wow. It's like finished already or you still have some time in Japan? Uh, we have about a week left. Week left. I still have a few months. A few months. <laughs> of my I'm studies. actually also an exchange student oh, here. Oh, that's yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. What's the new university name? It's APU in. APU, I yeah. know. Oh, do you know? Yeah, I know. It's in Beppo, right? It's Beppo. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. It's so nice there. It's like so many nice. foreigners, like different people, right? Mm. Mm, how do you like it so far? It's been amazing. Yeah? Been amazing. And is it your first time in Japan? It's my first time, yeah. And do you speak some Japanese? A bit. Yeah? A tiny bit. What can you say? Oh, <laughs> you can put me on the boat. I do must say, what does Ah, nice, nice, very good. Do you want to come to Japan again? Definitely. 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 That's so nice. What do you guys think? Like, what was your first thought about Japan so far? Mm. Well, it's very big city. Big city. Yeah. Like, very big city. Ah, you've been in Tokyo only? Uh, yeah. Okay, are you planning to go somewhere else or only Tokyo uh, this only time? Tokyo this time. Mm, yeah, it's pretty big, you can do anything yeah. here, right? What did you like the most? Is there like mm, a place you liked? Uh, I think Kamakura was nice. We, Kamakura. we went to Kamakura ah, and Enoshima. Beach, Enoshima right? Island. Yeah. Mm, very good. How about food? Did you like some food? Like, what was your favorite one? Sushi is good. Sushi? sushi. Is, it, is it different than the one, like, did you try in Finland too, some sushi? Yeah. yeah, it's not as good though. It's not as it's good. It's not right. It's not mm-hmm. the same. It's not okay. the same. Can you eat raw fish too? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah? Oh, that's cool. That's cool. How is sushi like in Finland? It's similar, but not as good. Ah, oh, I see. Oh. But you have like you also eat raw fish in Finland? Sometimes. Ah, oh, really? That's interesting. That's interesting. Is there any place maybe you cannot go this time, but you would like to go next time when you're here? Maybe other cities. Uh huh. Yeah. Something. Like like yeah, where? Because like Kyoto. Or Kyoto. Osaka. So you haven't been to Kyoto yet? No. no. It's like even if you come here for a few weeks, it's have so much to see around here. So yeah, true. two weeks go so fast. That's true. So you're staying with your friends for two weeks here? No, one week. Ah, one Office week. week. Yeah, I yeah. see. Yeah. I see. I have studies. Yeah. yeah. How do you like the studies? Like, is it it's, hard in APU? It's easier than in Finland. Oh, really? Which is nice. More free uh-huh. time. Uh huh. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> I'm actually 
I'm not, I'm not sure if it's a good idea to stay on camera, what, but I'm what? skipping classes <laughs> right now to be here, it's but right. it's okay. Everybody's it's doing okay. It. I'm also doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually studying in university here in Tokyo. Mm. How do you like Beppu? It's just way smaller city, That's less true, people. Right? But like, a bit more quiet. are people nice? They are nice. Yeah? They're really nice. That's yeah. cool. Do you make some Japanese friends? A few, yeah. Yeah? From school? Or from like school, outside? from school. Mm, so nice. Hope you guys come to Japan one more time and even yeah, of course, more. Of course. <laughs> it's such a nice country. So, like, I personally, I also like Tokyo, but there are so many places, so much different than Tokyo. Yeah. So many prefectures. So you should definitely one day travel around. I just wanted to ask one more thing: if you could bring some culture from Japan to Finland, like, or some like habit of people, what would be that? I would say the customer service. Uh -huh. It's really good here. People uh -huh. are so nice mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. it's so great. Yeah, I would yeah, yeah. bring that to Finland. Mm. Yeah, I have so the same answer. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What do you think? Mm, well, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> customer service in Finland is like not as good? Well, it's good, but not as good. I have a pretty high image of Finland's <laughs> customer <Yeah>. service. <laughs> it's good, it's good. I'm from Poland. I think the same, like customer yeah. service. Okay. Anything else that comes to mind? Well, the price of food should Ah, in Finland it's, it's like high it's, price? It's yeah. like three times the price, three times almost. Two, 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 two to three. three yeah. <gasps> yeah. Like so a ramen expensive. is like two to three times more oh expensive in Finland. So, so you have time of your life here? Oh, I am having a blast. <laughs> That's so cool. I've been eating at restaurants every day. Every day? Every day. Yeah, because it's so cheap for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. I heard like beer and like beer is like so expensive, right? In Finland, I heard that. Yeah. Okay guys, that's it. Thank you so much for answering and I hope you enjoy the rest of Thank your time you. in Japan. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> See you. Okay, nice to meet you guys. Where are you from? I'm from the Netherlands. Netherlands? Yes, me as well. So you are the mother? Yes. yes. Oh, that's so nice. Is it your first time in Japan? Yes. Yeah. yeah. For how long are you staying here? For 18 days. 18 days. Yes. 18 days. So is that you're finished already or you just arrived? Uh, well, we're now a week in Tokyo and uh -huh. we're gonna move on to, I think, Takayama. Takayama and Kyoto. Oh, nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so far you've been only in Tokyo? Yes. Mm -hmm. So from now you're going to different places. Yes. You're gonna visit Kyoto, some other places too? Are you going to like, Osaka or somewhere? Maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Another place on the coast. So the mountains and the coast. Very nice. So you like nature and like mountains? We do everything. Yes. Wow, very <laughs> Culture, good. nature, mm, yeah. modern and classic. Yeah, Japan is perfect country for that, right? They, yeah, they have contrasts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you like it so far in here? I really like really it. Love it. Yeah. yeah. Why the idea of coming to Japan? Yeah, I really like the culture and mostly the uh, clothing they're wearing. Uh -huh. um, I really like it. Um, the fashion. Yes, the mm. fashion industry here. It's That's so cool. cool. Mm -hmm. And um, the architecture also because architecture. I'm, I'm studying architecture. Oh, I so see. That's interesting. Yeah, I really like it here. Uh -huh. So you're like ob observing the buildings? Yes, mm. yes. That's yes. so nice. Okay. Yeah. How old are you? I'm 17. 17. I was 16 also like when I was here first time. For me it was a big shock. Yes. Is there anything that you were like surprised about in here so far? Like well, it was different than your image? Yeah, everything is very organized and mm -hmm. everybody knows what to do like in the train and stuff. Uh -huh. Everybody knows like if it's busy and somebody yeah. wants to go out, you have to go out and then back inside. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. In where we live in the Netherlands, everything is just random and everybody is doing yeah, whatever they think. Business, right? Yeah, mm. yeah. So it's very well organized uh -huh. here. So, is there anything like you would like to bring back to Netherlands, like the culture from Japan? Maybe this, right? Like organization. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. How about the language? Do you know some Japanese words? <laughs> no. <laughs> but is it like difficult here for you a bit to communicate? It so depends. Depends. Yeah. If it's like this, there are a lot of tourists. A lot of people can speak. And understand English mm -hmm. but in places where there are not as much tourists as here mm. it's harder because some people cannot speak English but I see, I see. yeah then it's harder but it's not very good but you didn't have any trouble so far right no no yeah no. you like it that's yeah. good how about the food tell me like what did you try I love it yeah you like it it's so good <laughs> yes so, what, what was your favorite food so far oh we ate a lot of different things yeah. but I like all the meals with all the different small things you can taste yeah. all the small balls mm. and uh, it's True. perfect yeah so I have no clue what I ate but it was <laughs> really nice but it was good right yeah 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 I know like they have so many different stuff like, yeah how about the raw fish did you try I like raw fish. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Do you yeah. like it? Oh. Yeah, I really love it. That's yeah. good. Do you like it too? Yeah, we, we have, but we know it. Eh? In Holland, we also eat ah, raw fish. Really? So yeah. Wow. Yeah. So that's interesting. I didn't know. That. <laughs> I'm from Poland. 
Okay. So we, we don't need trust. <laughs> and also, actually, my mom was also visiting here like a few weeks ago. I have feeling like, oh, it's so nice that you're together traveling. Mm -hmm. Very yes. nice, very nice. Yes. So do you guys travel often together or is it like first time? I go with every child. I uh -huh. go on a big trip. Uh -huh. So now it was her really? turn. Now ah, it was so her you, turn. you have siblings? <laughs> Yeah, I have a sister and an older brother. I see, so yeah. three of you. So. Yeah. Where did you go before with the other kids? Uh, with my youngest daughter, I went to uh, Manila. Wow, yeah. that's nice. Yeah, because we have friends over there, so I it see, was. I see. So it was a good occasion. Did you go like there? It? it was uh, wonderful. A wonderful wow. experience. It was completely different to what I'm used to. Uh -huh, uh, uh -huh. So it was a gated community. So we traveled with guards mm -hmm. and uh, well. That so, kind of uh, stuff, mm -hmm. but it was really interesting. Mm -hmm. And uh, with my oldest son, I went to Curacao. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> because my husband doesn't fly, ah, so okay, I'm okay. going. So, so I'm going go. with the kids. <laughs> yeah, I'm going with you in charge. <laughs> yes, a hard job. I see, a hard I see. Job. Yeah. Long way to come here, right? Like, mm -hmm. how, how long was the flight? Uh, 16 hours? 16. Yeah, but we have to transfer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. where did you transfer, by the way? In Hong Kong. Ah, okay. Yeah. So once to Hong Kong and then? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. How many days you have left? Like two weeks around, right? Yeah. One and well, a half. Yeah, a bit more. Yeah, yeah one and a half, something That's like that. Nice. I, I hope you will enjoy the Thank rest you. of your stay. In. Okay, it was nice to meet you. Yes, and it was nice to meet you. Yeah, have see a wonderful you. Day. You too. Thank you. Bye. 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 <laughs> okay, hi guys, nice to meet you. Where are you Hello. from? From Poland. Yes. Poland? Yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. Serio? <laughs> Naprawdę? Jak to się stało? Okej, no to mówimy po polsku jednak. Dobra, dobra, czemu nie? Jezu, ale super. No to a co wy tu robicie? Wjechaliście na wakacje? Nie, to super. Trzy tygodniowe już końcówka w zasadzie. O, naprawdę? No, trzy dni nam zostały, więc jeszcze się tutaj kręcimy po Tokio. Aha, Ponownie, więc... A gdzie jeszcze byliście? Osaka. Osaka. I to całe 10 dni, przy czym jak byliśmy w Osace, to zwiedziliśmy jeszcze Kobę. Mieliśmy jeszcze do Nary jechać, ale niestety pogoda nie dopisała. A, no, no zdarza się, teraz jest taka pora, się. że pada mm -hmm. często deszcz. Tak. No. Jeszcze zapomniałam zapytać, przepraszam, jak wy się nazywacie? Adam. Agata. Agata, Agata okej. Okay. Ja jestem Daria. <laughs> Super, Miło że się poznać. spotkaliśmy. No. A co jedliście na przykład ciekawego tutaj? Co wam tak zasmakowało specjalnie? No to na pewno byliśmy na Kobę. Tak, Kobe Beef, Kobe na Kobe. Premium, nie? Tak, tak, Kobe, tak, i jak tam? To bardzo bardzo dobre. Bardzo tak, dobre, super. Tak. Warte pieniędzy, Mięsko warte, premium, tak. zdecydowanie. Ja jeszcze, ja tu w ogóle mieszkam, a jeszcze nigdy w sumie nie miałam okazji zjeść, także Polecamy. muszę w końcu się wypowiedzieć. Mhm. Długo? Fajnie. Mieszkasz już? No, ja tak w sumie 8 lat temu byłam pierwszy raz, znaczy tak wracam do Polski też, no i przyjeżdżam, ale... No i e, jeszcze powiedzcie mi na przykład jeszcze coś innego do jedzenia. No to drugie, co byliśmy na najlepszym, Cicizna, to byliśmy na... Cicizna? Tak. Tak, no. na kursie... L is a gate, czy jakoś tak? Mm -hmm. A tak. to jest nazwa knajpy? Czy tak, tak, nazwa tak, tak. knajpy. I co tam, jak, jaka dziewczyna z czego, jakaś sarna czy coś? Oni tak, sami kodują wow. podobno, sami tak. rozrabiają, mm -hmm. sami wszystko robią od początku do końca cały proces. Ale to tak. ciekawe, macie takie typy, nie? Takie mięso, tak. takie typowe mięso, no. tak? Mięsożercy. Bardziej, no, bardziej w Mięsożercy idą na krepesy no. teraz, nie? I już teraz o, byli, przejechali drugi raz. Mięso jest pod kości, nie? Jest A, pod czyli w Haradziuku już byliście wcześniej też? E, tak, tak, raz już byliśmy, tam właśnie się kierujemy drugi raz, bo jednak to najlepsze nas wybór. Tak, bardzo tak. Dobrze, tak. Dobra, a powiedzcie mi jeszcze na przykład takie różnice kulturowe. Mhm. Było coś, co was na przykład zaskoczyło. Nie wiem na ile też znaliście, bo to jest pierwszy was raz, raz tak, tak. Pierwszy raz. Pierwszy raz. Tak. Ale wiadomo, że swoje Research lekcje odrobiliśmy. Był, tak. tak. No, ale coś takiego było na przykład, nie wiem. I czyste zaskoczenie kibli. o. A, jeszcze raz? Toalety, a, no, 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 czyste to ubikacje to się zgadza. <laughs> to jest tak. taka o. bardzo pozytywna. No to e, bardzo sprawne zarządzanie na stacjach. Nie tylko pociągi, ale też ludzie. A, też. że się ustawiają w Tak, kolejka tak. ładnie, są bileciki, odhaczasz, tak, zabierasz tak. i już nie ma, nie ma tego kościelnego pingierowego. Tak, przepychanie się. Nie, się ale za to pociągi są przecież takie stłoczone, to wam na przykład nie zaskoczyło was tam, czy jeszcze nie mieliście okazji? Się nie, nie, byliśmy już w Rush Hours. Tak. Tak. Ja się nie czuję jakoś niekomfortowo. Jest co prawda tłoczno, ale nie jest to na tyle tłoczno, żebym naprawdę jakoś czuła się niekomfortowo. Czy... A na przykład coś, co chcielibyście, żeby w Polsce właśnie było zastosowane, takie co jest w Japonii? Czyste kible. No. Nie, no, system 
komunikacji tak naprawdę, to, że wszystko jest powiedzmy na czas albo w miarę na czas, no że nie ma opóźnień, Wszędzie że tak organizacja można tak. dojechać. Właśnie, ta komunikacja no. jest naprawdę świetna. My samym no. JR Passem mamy i A, wiesz, jak... JR Passa, no tak, i, kom... i tak naprawdę po Tokio to poruszamy się samym JR Passem. No, Już w zasadzie tak. tych lokalnych nie musimy kupować, nie? Tylko... Na no. trzy tygodnie w pójście? Tak. Tak. tak, na 27 no, dni, nie? Tam tak. tak. No. no bo teoretycznie nie było sensu br- nie brać. No. Jak no, się jechało do do Saki tam i z powrotem to już jest cena normalnie. Jasne, super. A, czyli tak, czyli wyjście w Tokio, Osaka, mm-hmm. wyjście w Kyoto może? Tak, e, tak. Dwa, dwa dni. Tam. Kurczę, Najwięcej zbyt, nie? turystów. Nie, Właśnie... nie, nie, nie. W, Kyoto, w Tokio dużo więcej ludzi. W Kyoto za dużo turystów. Turystów, tak, nie? Turystów. Super, widać to wszędzie tak. po prostu, Właśnie nie? same nawet knajpy zauważyłam, że są takie bardziej przystosowane właśnie do turystów. No. Przez to ta kuchnia japońska mi się wydaje, że trochę taka... Mniej tradycyjna, tak, tak, mniej tradycyjna, tak, tak, mniej tradycyjna no, po prostu. Często tak jest jak angielskie menu, czy tak, no. Tak, no. Po japońsku coś mówicie, czy zero? Skosi. Skosi. Wiadomo, to, to co z anim się nauczą, a. nauczyliśmy, tak? Jakieś tam... Na ruchodo. Łakaj masz to. Łakaj Czyli właśnie z anime to zaczęło, tak? Że oglądaliście? Tak, tak, tak. Od, zawsze chcieliśmy tu przyjechać. Oglądamy. A, wiesz, to, to nie jest tak, że od tak, tak lat. No, jest od... Tak, tak. Wiesz, od tego się zaczęło. No, mm. Więc od tego się zaczęło i potem. Księżniczka Mononoke, jak tam 6 Ghibli, lat. Ghibli, no. No to Su- super, super bajka dla dzieci była wtedy. Nie, no, ale to no. są świetne filmy. Tak. Tak. Ekstra, ekstra. I po tym jak przyjechaliście do Japonii, to co myślicie? Jakby to jest różne, czy jednak takie podobne, fajne? Oczywiście. Wracamy z walizką mang, dodatkowo tak. musieliśmy tak, kupić, tak, więc. Chyba i figurek, tak, tak dokładnie. Wow. Figurek, tak. Okay, okay. Będzie problem z pakowaniem, ale. Ale jakie generalnie takie macie wrażenie po tej Japonii? Że super, czy jednak na przykład. Nie, nie Japonia super. Mi super. Tak? tak. Wrócimy na pewno. Tak, tak super. Wiadomo, że to Musi są wrócić. jakieś tam rzeczy, które może trochę odmiennie nie? Tak? były tak jakby przedstawiane na zachodzie. No, no, no. Na no, przykład co? Było, że Japończycy bardzo nie lubią obcokrajowców. No, nie? No nie spotkaliśmy nie, nie. się z tym A, no w ogóle. Nie? No ja tak Nawet jak to... zero po angielsku czy cokolwiek, to jest zawsze, ta, zawsze pomogą. Tak, zawsze, śmierci, zawsze coś się dogadają. Właśnie, Japonia jest taka kultura, oni nazywają umuty nasi. Mhm. Wiecie, to że jakby takie bardzo mm, witają w swoim mhm. kraju. Jakby tak. właśnie, mimo że no nie umieją często mówić po angielsku, no. to jednak starają się tutaj wam pomóc. Nie, no właśnie, no. jest takie stereotypy czasem, że. Ale to też druga strona, moim zdaniem, musi wyjść też mm. y- i czego się nauczyć, choćby podstaw, tak? No. tak Albo naprawdę... przynajmniej przyzwyczaić się do translatora. Dokładnie. Mm. No bo nie można też zawsze wchodzić i, i wymagać od ludzi, żeby, żeby mówić... wszystko po angielsku mówi no. i wiesz. I... No właśnie. No. Tak, no to super, super. Właśnie, że też tak właśnie. To cieszę się, że no nic, to nie zatrzymuje Was, trzymajcie Dobra. się. Mam nadzieję, Bardzo że miło. spędzicie jeszcze super ostatnie trzy dni Jasne. w Japonii. Mm. I musicie wrócić jeszcze. Tak, tak a to na pewno. To no. już planujemy. Już no, planujemy. Jesteśmy super. tu, a już planujemy po już, bo, już było tak. No dobra, to jak nie kiedy, będziemy jeść przy Ślada, tak? Ja poślanka ziemniaki. No. Ale super, no to tak. czekam aż tutaj wrócicie kiedyś. Mhm. No i bawcie się dobrze. Trzymajcie Jasne. się. Dzięki, cześć. Dzięki, wielkie dzięki. Hello, what are your names? Hello, my name is Stacy. My name is Christopher. Christopher, nice to meet you. And uh, how about you? What are your names? My name is Stephanie. Stephanie? My name is Tedia. Nice to meet you. So, where are you from? France. Oh, you're from France. And uh, why did you come to Japan? Tourism and visit. Uh, last week uh, we went to Seoul, Korea. Korea? Uh, oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And now we, we arrive on uh, Tokyo to visit 10 days uh, Japan. Oh, wow. Sounds like quite the adventure. Is it your first time to come to Japan? Yes. 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 It's the first time, yes. All of you, first time? Oh, amazing! Okay, so before you came to Japan, like, what was your impression of Japan? Tradition, uh, religion, culture. Culture mm-hmm. is so different uh, as the France, so yeah. so we want to visit for that. Yeah. Yes. The food. <laughs> the food. It's very different. Yeah. Yes. What are your favorite Japanese foods? Sushi. Sushi. Sushi and uh, the breakfast is different also. Mm. Oh, the breakfast? Yes. Did you have traditional Japanese breakfast here? No, no we just arrived, so... Oh, just today? Yeah, yes, yesterday night. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, it's your first full day. So, what about your experience so far, just in one day? 
Is there anything different than you expected? Yes, uh, the people are so quite, it's really different. In the street is really organized. Everything is uh, organized, uh, and uh, in French is uh, crazy, crazy people. And uh, now, it, first, first thing is that. Um, anything surprise you about Japan on uh, yes. the first thing? It's so clean, very clean. clean. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Right. In France, uh, more bad. It's, it's yeah. not so clean. It's mm. not so clean. Uh, in Japan, is is really clean. In the street, is, everything is clean. Yeah. It's often a big shock for people visiting, so me as well when I first came to Japan. So I heard that, you know, many people in France really like Japanese culture. Is that true? Are people in France interested in Japan? True, yes, yes. So would you say in France, Japan has like a good image? We think Japanese is really a family together and uh, they stay together every time, but I don't know if it's true, I don't know. You have like a kind of a family oriented? Yeah. Oh, mm, yeah. So uh, thank you so much for answering the questions and please enjoy your time in Japan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, hello, nice to meet you. What's your name? Aidor. And where are you from? From Spain. From Spain. So have you ever been to Japan before? Is this no. your first time? No, this is our first time. Um, we are uh, here for, for our honeymoon. Oh, congratulations! They, just, they just got married. Thank so. you. Yeah, so his uh, wife is out of the shot right now. It's okay. So we have uh, our archer. Yes. Yes, on camera. I'm going to ask you a few questions. Yes. So why did you come to Japan in particular? I'm very, very fan of anime and I studied uh, fine arts. So the tradition and the art of Japan, the history, the everything is like very important to me and we decided to come here. Oh, that's amazing. So how about the food? Do you like Japanese food? Yes, I love it. I love it. My wife well, doesn't, but, but I, I do. Yes. So, so maybe we're hoping to change your mind about Japanese food on this honeymoon? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> I, I'll try. I'll try to, to change her mind. Okay, so my next question is, what was your impression of Japan before coming here? Before? Um, I, I'm very impressed now. Uh, I just arrived here and I don't know, I am, I'm shocked. It's very, very beautiful and the people is, is awesome. It's, it's great. Was your expectation of Japan the same as what you saw when you arrived? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, I, I had, a, had a friend that, that came here and told me that this was very, very impressive and, and it, it is. So, yes. Yeah, so it's uh, just his first day, so there's a, a lot more for him to experience. So we hope you have a, a wonderful honeymoon in Japan. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. So we were just by Sensoji and now we are walking towards Kapabashi Dori. And my impression so far today is the energy is a bit different. I think that people are avoiding the heat. Last time we were filming here, it was spring and around Sakura time. So it was a very popular time for people to visit. Now I think everyone is just trying to avoid this heat. So let's see, can we get some more people? I hope so. Hi, what are your names? Rita. Rita? Laura. Laura. And where are you from? I'm from Portugal. Okay. I'm from Boston, United States. Oh, also I am from the United States, so welcome to Japan. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so why did you come to Japan? So we came with work and then we decided to stay uh, one week longer to travel a bit. Good idea. Good idea. So also work? Yes, yeah. yeah. yeah we together. came together. So uh, do you mind me asking like the type of work that brought you to Japan? We are consultants. Consultant? Yeah. B business consultant? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, cool. Oh, what a great opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> so, I have some questions. Is it your first time coming to Japan? No, it's like the second. We came like last month and we are here again. Uh, but so, maybe Yeah, we came in June and now we're back. 
but June was the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. What was your impression of Japan before June? What did you think of Japan? I didn't have like a, a big opinion. I was very curious to to learn a bit about the culture and try the food. And uh, but I think now, now that I'm here, I really I really enjoy Japan. I think uh, the culture is super interesting. Everyone is very nice. Uh, the food is amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think the only shock is it's much warmer than I thought it would be. <laughs> yeah, that shocks people a lot during the summer. How about you? How about you? Um, my only, may, my big impression and what I wanted to do once we got here was to have the sushi conveyor belts because I feel like you see that a lot and you hear about that a lot and then you realize, you come here and you realize it's not as big of a thing as I initially thought it would be. Um, so my main, that was my main impression but I lo we've loved being here and it's, we've been eating a lot of fish <laughs> and drinking good coffee. Great. So did you think like you could find sushi conveyor belt like on every corner? I thought, yeah, I thought it was much more commonplace, like the McDonald's of America almost. <laughs> yeah, I kind of had that like dream before I came to Japan too because I love sushi. So you said you ate a lot of fish. Yeah. What's your favorite food? Uh, for me, it's ramen. Oh, oh ramen. Okay. Yeah, I love ramen. <laughs> but it, how do you feel about eating ramen right now? Um, I think it's fine because inside it's always cool and fresh. So it's uh, then I think ra the broth of the ramen kind of uh, helps you keeping uh, it right daily. So it's good. Uh, definitely ramen or goizas. Oh, oh gyoza. 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 Oh, that's so good. Yeah, yeah. that's underrated. Underrated. Know. You know, yes. no one's talking about gyoza enough. So we've had it a lot in Tokyo. <laughs> yeah. 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 There are a lot of good places for that. All right, my last question for you is, do you have a really positive, memorable experience you want to share about Japan? I think it's just like, everything is very clean and I think everyone is very nice because sometimes we are kind of stressed about, uh, I don't know, we weren't on a bus and we we're not sure how to pay or if we had like enough coins and then uh, the bus driver was super nice. She helped us like exchanging the money and making the payment like super relaxed, super, super nice really. It just makes you feel welcomed. And how about you? Um, I would definitely say how welcoming everyone is. We. I went with another coworker up to Mount Fuji and our taxi driver was like our like cheerleader. Like he was so excited for us and he like played us music and like was cheering us on and it was really sweet. So just how like wonderful everyone is here. Oh well, that's amazing. Yeah, good timing for you can't always climb Mount Fuji, yeah. so really good yeah, timing. Yeah, we lucked out. Yeah. All right, thank you so much for thank joining you. our thank interview. You. Please enjoy the rest of your trip. No, right now, not work now. No, now, no, no, now enjoyment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. All right, have a great time. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Hello. Hello. What are your names? Nicolas. Marie-Ange. Nice to meet you. And uh, where are you from? From Belgium. Oh. Yeah, me too. Okay, so from Belgium. Awesome. It might be uh, d definitely first people from Belgium today. Okay. So why did you come to Japan? Uh, because I love the food. Ooh. Because uh, I love him, so... Oh, <laughs> cute! <laughs> so is that why you're on Kapabashidori Street right now? Yes. All the fake food? Yes, yes. Have you been able to look in some of the shops so far? We buy some chopsticks and uh, some uh, tas. Yeah, some cap. <laughs> some cap. For... Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how long have you been in Japan? Two weeks, yeah, two weeks and a half. So now, now is second week? It's the last day, today. Oh, today's the last day? Yeah. Oh, please tell me about your trip. Where did you go? Uh, we go to Tokyo, to Kyoto and to Nagano. Two days ago, we see the Mount Fuji. So it was uh, pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> you, you saw Mount Fuji or you climbed Mount Fuji? No, we just saw it. I, I think seeing is better. Yeah, yeah then not so tired. <laughs> Actually, do you mind sharing some photos of your trip? Do you have any yeah, photos? So this is uh, near to Nagano. It's the monkeys? Yeah, yeah monkeys. That's so cool! And for the Mount Fuji, I don't know if I have a picture. I have you have picture. We're looking for a picture of Mount Fuji. Ah, we have it. Ah, there it is, peeking through the clouds. Wow. So beautiful. Wow, so you said you were here with friends. Yeah. What, what was the reason for coming to Japan? Oh, uh, we just want to travel together and I don't know why but someone said hey why we can don't go to Japan Ooh. and say so we said yes okay let's go to Japan. Was it a good choice Japan? Yeah it was a really good choice and we have a 
beautiful uh, sun uh, all day long, so it was, uh, it was good. How was the weather for you? Is it too hot? Is it okay? Oh, it's a little bit too hot. <laughs> Usually people mm -hmm. think so. Yeah. Okay, so on your last day of being in Japan, what is your final impression of Japan? How was your trip? It was, uh, it was good, people uh, was nice, the uh, food was uh, amazing, uh, everything was uh, really good. Yeah, we really enjoyed it. Will you come back again if you have the opportunity? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so immediately, yes. Okay, thank you so much for joining our interview and uh, please enjoy your last day in Japan. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Okay, hello, nice to meet hello. you. Hello. What are your names? Yeah, yeah. Hello, I'm Philip and I'm 13 years old. Hello, I'm Jakob. I'm Nicolas. Claudia. Oh, so nice to meet you. Where are you from? Who wants to answer? <laughs> You're from Germany. From Germany. Oh, thank you so much for joining our video. Why did you come to Japan? Uh, we came here because it's a very nice uh, land. It's got many culture and of course I like the food very much. Yes, to see, to see the country. We've always done like uh, beach holidays in Greece and so on. And now we wanted to see Japan because it's a big thing. It's totally different. Yes, and we planned it a couple of years ago. But my, my wife planned it. Yeah. Everything, everything. And, um, but it wasn't possible. Back then there was the Olympics and then there was the pandemic right. and this year I think is the first year you could really come individually. So you finally made it to Japan? We finally made it, yes. Is it all of your first time? Yes. 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 Wow, so first time as a family, how wonderful. So you were doing some planning for this trip, right? How did you go about uh, planning it? How did you research? Uh, in internet, everything, and it was possible to book everything online you know tickets and hotels etc etc so do any of you know japanese no. language yeah no. no so but it was you were still able to uh plan the trip well you found yeah that was no problem uh because of the uh, translation in the internet and we have an app um as a Japanese app, you speak German and they translate it into Japan and if the Jap Japanese speak, the app translates in uh, uh, German, so it was very easy. What is the impression of Japan amongst uh, young people in Germany? What about, what do your friends think about you visiting Japan? Um, they think it's uh like it's really expensive because they think like the subway because you have to go with every subway but they also think it's cool because uh, friends of mine they really like the cars here mm -hmm. they like the tuning and stuff and it's really cool here and uh, how they Japan people dress like they really think that that's impressive yeah they, they like the fashion mm -hmm. in Japan yes yeah what do you think uh, many of my friends are interested in anime so like I can take pictures and send pictures to them and they're jealous Oh, so cool. What are the popular anime in Germany? Like Naruto and stuff. Uh -huh. yeah, also, like uh, many of my friends like One Piece. Of course, the best one is Dragon Ball Z. It's like a uh, legendary one. So, yeah, that's the stuff they like. Yeah, so some of those classic anime is still really popular, I see. Awesome. We, mentioned we come from, from Dusseldorf and Dusseldorf has the biggest Japanese community in Europe, I think. And we have a lot of, we already have a lot of Japanese stores, ramen shops and uh, manga stores, so the culture is already there. Yeah. So people in that town already are a bit more common with Japan. Oh, I'm curious, tell me more about this. There is, is it like Japanese neighborhood, Japanese town? Yes, we have a small Japanese town with a lot of Japanese shops original with Japanese people and a lot of Japanese people live there. We have a Japanese garden area and Japanese um, Kinderga restaurants, kindergartens, hotels, school yeah. even. Yes. Oh, that's so interesting. Dusseldorf? Yes. Oh, I definitely want to see that someday. Yeah. That's so cool. So, uh, I think this is my favorite question. What are your favorite foods, Japanese foods? Let's start with you. Oh, whew. Um, I like miso soup. Soup? Yes. 
Okay, sushi, you know. Sushi, yeah. Um, it's okay to answer with okay. like common answer. It, it's no problem. <laughs> Anyone else? Uh, ramen, original ramen. Yeah. Any sushi? Sushi. Ramen too. I eat it in my hometown, Düsseldorf, like twice a week. So <laughs> with, but I eat it only with my friends. Like after we had the game, and that's it's really delicious. Like. Yet yeah, soup and the food in it, the beef, that's it's really good. So eating ramen is popular after a sports game with your yes, friends? Yes, yes. It's very popular because it, like, it refreshes uh, your body. It's, uh, it has this many ingredients, so it's flavorful. There's much of flavor. Oh, yes. that's so interesting. So last question. How did your impression of Japan change like before you came here and after? So anything that surprised you? Um, we're surprised. A lot of people say when you plan the trip and when you read about Japan, a lot of people say uh, it's totally different, no one speaks English and, uh, and so on. But actually it's, it's totally different but it's not actually. It's, uh, it's, uh, you can get very, very well along here and even though sometimes really people and young people don't speak English, you always get along, always. And uh, what's surprising that uh, like in, in there are always people you can ask. Like in the train stations, there's always personal. Uh, the trains are on time. Like it's really, it's not a cliche. It's really like trains yeah. are on time. You can relate on trains. If you make a trip with Google and you have to change 10 times, it's always on time. Except there is an accident or something, but it's always on time. And the food is delicious. I, I like the vending machines. Right. Everywhere vending machines. That's really, really cool. And uh, the food is not so expensive. If, you, if you're not in a tourist scam place, no, yeah, the food is food prices are okay, so everything and, works fine. And no. I, I love the nature. Oh yeah. Because you see, uh, actually in TV, you see houses and so. But we went to Kanazawa and to Hida uh, mountains, and it was just fantastic. Yes, we did the, the Kuroba tour up the mountain and down with the cable car and all this. That's really wonderful. Yes. We have a lot of a lot of nature and a lot of cities and nature. That's yeah. but, but really beautiful. Yeah, yeah there's uh, definitely a good combination of both in Japan, yeah. right? Yeah. How about you? What what surprised you? Like my father said, the trains. Like I heard that in Japan, the trains are very like on point. They always come like yeah. and most of the time they're like on point. Don't they aren't late. And what surprised me also was that I thought that uh, the anime and the manga stores and stuff were like only like little stores like somewhere in the city but uh, in Tokyo there's like a whole district like only manga and stuff we went there and of course I bought a figure like that's really was really impressive so you was it Akihabara you went to or yes Akihabara yes yes I think yeah. That, uh, yeah and how about you uh, I think like it does not matter where you are in Tokyo you can get anywhere. You have to walk maximum like one kilometer to get to the next subway and you can just drive to any station and you get where you want. It's very easy here. Yeah, that's a great takeaway. I think too, it's so accessible. Okay, so thank you so much for joining our interview. We really appreciate it. Please enjoy the rest of your time in Japan. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, hello, thank you for joining our video. You're welcome, you're welcome. What is your name? I'm Jens. Jens, and where are you from? I'm from the Netherlands. All right, Netherlands. So why did you come to Japan? Last year I went with my girlfriend to Sicily, mm -hmm. Italy, and we thought we had to travel far this year. So she wanted to go to Bali, but I really wanted to go to, to Japan. So that's why we chose Japan. Okay, yeah. so so your, your vote won in the situation. Yes, yes. <laughs> why did you want to come to Japan? Uh, I think the culture is completely different that I'm used to in mm. European countries. So that's maybe the difference and the food, obviously, yeah. and maybe because of the nice. So that's the, that may help. Um, yeah, I, I, I like the people. I think are very respectful, and I like the manners here. Mm. So that's why I think. Right. So we saw that you were buying some things on this very famous shopping street. Yes. What did you buy? So I bought one knife for my nephew because he bought a home. So a gift for uh, for him, a little cooking knife. So uh, sure. 
Awesome, so cool. So would you say that like Japanese uh, knives have a good reputation in I the Netherlands? So. I think so. I think all around the world, but especially in the Netherlands maybe, because uh, I really like cooking. I'm not a chef, but I like cooking mm -hmm. at home. And I like sharp knives, obviously. And then the first thing that comes to mind is Japanese knives. So I think that's why. Yeah, I think this is the first time we are interviewing someone who just purchased a Japanese knife. Yeah, so yeah, really? <laughs> unique. So is it your first time in Japan? Yes, first time in Japan, yes. Okay, so what was your impression of Japan before and did it change at all after coming here? So, like I told you, I think my impression was that the people here are, are much more respect, respectful and are maybe politer than, pe than the people that I'm used to. Um, and I think that hasn't changed at all. So, I. I the culture is maybe different than I thought, and maybe the, the streets are a bit different. But I, I like the, um, sometimes it's very classic. So like Kyoto or something is very classic. And then you go to Tokyo and it's completely different. So I like the difference between the big cities. So that's why. So where did you have a chance to visit while being in so Japan? We first went to Osaka. Then we went to Kobe to eat Kobe steak. Then to Hiroshima, Kyoto. Kanazawa and now the last days in Tokyo. Okay, that's a really, really good itinerary, I think. So what was your most memorable experience, if you could choose one thing? I think the Kobe steak. I wanted to go to Kobe just for the steak, so we went one day, one night, and we, uh, we had a reservation at, a, at one of the top restaurants, I think, and uh, we ate some Kobe steak. And the, the, the steak was, was very nice, but the whole experience around it, so there's a chef cooking for you, and you have a big, big, big steak, and they cut it up, and uh, you can enjoy it. So that's, I think, that's one of the most, uh, most fun things we did. I think. Yeah, definitely seem to be a, a lover of food. Last question: What is your absolute favorite Japanese food? Oh, sushi is kind of the obvious answer, right? Um, it's okay to give the obvious answer. I like maybe the ramen noodles. So the, you have you have loads of noodles, but I like the miso ramen. So I went looking in Japan for all the miso ramen places. So I think maybe miso ramen, yeah. So despite the heat, many people today love ramen. Yeah. <laughs> like I think third person say yeah. ramen was their favorite. All right, thank you so much for Welcome. joining and enjoy the rest of your time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining the interview. I'm really grateful. Where are you from? From Germany. And what are your names? Michael. Vera. Chrissy. What made you come to Japan? Well, we are really interested in the culture, uh, the food, and the people, but also in the country. So how many days have you been here so far? Only one day. It's our actually our first day, so we arrived yesterday. We and on the off. first day you decide to come to Tsukiji? Yes, to meet an old friend from the university. Oh. Yeah. So you live here? Yes, I do. <laughs> how, many, how many years now? Um, I came here half a year ago and I will be here for two and a half more years. Do you study or do you work here? Kind of both, I'd say. <laughs> so I study and I work here. <laughs> well, I've been in your position, so I understand. You, we are together? Yes, we are. <laughs> so now I want to hear your opinion of, about Japan so far, even though you've been here one day and you, as someone who lives here for a longer time, I want to see the comparison. So what do you think so far? Well, it's just really, really exciting so far. The people are very friendly. Everything's very in order, very clean. And so far, we're really enjoying it. Um, it was a bit of a hurdle at the beginning that not everybody is speaking English. So we, um, we, we tried our way through, but, but it's really easy uh, in the end. And yeah, we really like it so far. And what is your opinion? I think it's a very pretty city. There are a lot of people, but still everybody like takes care about each other. That's very nice to see. Like there's no stress going around, even though there are like that many people. Um, but yeah, so far, and I mean, the food is like it's like very good. It's so different from our culture. And what about you? Um, I really like Japan. Um, most times I was in Tokyo, but I did some trips um, in the outskirts, so Where? to Kamakura, Inoshima, uh, Fuji which was really, really nice. Um, I think it's really convenient to live in Japan. Uh, of course, all the convenience stores everywhere and uh, good food everywhere. Um, and people are really nice. So I really enjoy living in Japan. 
Is there some struggles you've experienced as someone who lives here? Because obviously it's very different when you live here and when you're a tourist. Um, yes, I had one experience where I was like, okay, the rules are the rules. I came one minute late to the cinema and I was not able to enter and I could hear the advertisement and I was not allowed to join. So that was really interesting. That was different, uh, I'd say, than in Germany, for example. <laughs> but I have an image of Germans are very strict. I think so, but I feel like Japan people can be as strict or even stricter in some ways. <laughs> interesting. Inter so where are you going so and how many days are you here for? So in Tokyo, only five days. Mm -hmm. And then we go on to Kanazawa, um, Kyoto, Hiroshima and Nara and Osaka. And then we fly uh, <laughs> to, to uh, South um, Korea after that mm -hmm. for one more week. Yeah. And what is the most, the thing that you're looking forward to the most? Well, I would say still the food in the different locations. But also, I, I'm personally very inter interested in Kyoto because it's like a very colorful city as we, as we know so far. So yeah, can't wait for that as well. Did you eat something? Do you like fish? Raw fish? Yes. yes. Did you try it? Not yet, that's the problem. So that's what we're going to do next. Yeah, <laughs> please try uh, Japanese maguro. This is tuna fish. Mm -hmm. Raw fish is very good and salmon is well my favorite. Okay. And also crab. I hope you have the chance to try everything yeah. you want. And uh, is there anything that kind of you know shocked you in terms of like it's completely different from Germany? We just talked about something pretty special. It's the smell of the city. Like normally in every big city, it, it smells like something. But here it's so neutral. So everything is so clean. And uh, it's something I didn't expect that you can live in such a big city without uh, having bad smells. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so thank you very much for the interview. And I hope you enjoy your stay. Uh, and you enjoy living in Japan. Okay, have a nice day, trip. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining the interview. What are your names? Elena, Irene. Where are you from? Spain. 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 Why did you come to Japan? I never traveled with my sister and I really like to do this travel because I would like to see the temples, the culture, the food. All is nice and I really like to. Your sisters, not twins. No, no. not oh. twins. <laughs> but you look so alike. Yeah. Yes. Why did you come to Tsukiji? Why? Uh, because I see videos, I watch that the food is very different to Spain and I really like to, to eat. What did you eat today? Um, omelette? Omelette? Japanese omelette? It's very sweet. The omelette is very different to Spain. Spain mm -hmm. is a uh, salad. <laughs> okay, so where do you go after Tokyo? Kyoto. Kyoto. Okay, thank you very much. I hope you enjoy your trip and eat thank many you. food. Yeah. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> Okay, can, who is that? Come uh, here, come uh, we, here. We are, we are friends of, of friends. friends. Yeah. So, are you? Is that your sister? No, it's my girlfriend. So you came together, all of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are stay in Tokyo. It's very amazing. Amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. Yes, yes. What What food do you want to try? We hope uh, try uh, the 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 fish the the cangrejo crab. 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 For crab. me, the, the best uh, food in general in Japan, okonomiyaki, tonkatsu, it's yes. a pork with egg, fried, it's so nice, and sushi, this is the best. It's, and kobe? Uh, kobe, beef yes. kobe, but not dry. so amazing, it's, mm, <laughs> makes you... Makes you Go uh, like it melts, melts it's in your umami. Mouth. Is umami. <laughs> very, very, very. Umami. But where, for where? me, the best here is the oyster. Did you try here in Tsukiji oyster? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's it's, it's very big and a, a little dangerous. It's it's, <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> it's kind of like a milky, Mil uh, milky texture. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay, thank you very much and I hope you have a fun trip. Thank you. Oh. Thank you so much. Well, it's hot and I'm orange juice. Look, this is really nice. It's like the top of the top of the top. I've never seen it. But it's really nice, but there are a lot of foreign visitors. There are a lot of foreign visitors. 
これがなんか結構珍しいしやっぱりここは食べ物がたくさん売ってるからよっぽど食べ物の話が盛り上がる神戸牛食べたい人とかもいたし和牛とか神戸牛は結構人気ありますあと面白いのはここ築地で包丁がいろんなところに売ってますこれ多分日本人は知ってるかどうかわかんないけど日本の包丁は海外でめっちゃ人気あるよしでは続きいきましょう Hello guys thank you for joining the interview What is your name? Quentin Silian And where are you from? France Paris Wow So what made you come to Japan?、Uh, we love the culture and the country and we wanted to come since four years And my brother lives here Live here? In Tokyo? Yes.、Uh, how many days are you gonna be here in Japan?、Uh, three weeks. Three months for me. Three months for you. You're staying with your brother? Yes. So you're now in Tokyo for how many days?、Uh, five days, inclu-、uh, six days, including Fuji just after. So where did you go so far except here in Tsukiji? <laughs> And where did we go so far? At <laughs>、uh, Shibuya. Shibuya? Uh, Shinjuku station.、Mm-hmm. Uh, we went to Arajuku. Akihabara. This is all in one day? Two days. No, no. Two days?、Yeah. <laughs> oh my, but still, it's, it's a pretty big <laughs> trip you did on two days only.、Yes. So, what is your impression of Japan so far?、Uh, we love the respect、uh, between people. Don't know how to say in English, but the Respect was a good word. <laughs> Respect, yes. Yeah, the culture, the people, and the food, of course. Yeah. What about you? I think that I was amazed by also buildings in Tokyo. Really nice and helpful. Also, I really loved the food. My favorite was ramen. Ramen? Yes. What is your favorite one so far? Sushi. Sushi. <laughs> Where did you get, get sushi and ramen? Ich,、uh, Ichiran. I think Ichiran is the most famous ramen shop.、Uh, so, is there something that kind of coach, like culture shock, something that made you very impressed here in Japan? Yeah, the cues. All the cues.、Uh, <laughs> the what? Like the, the, the line. The waiting、ah. line. The waiting line, so yes. Like the respect in general. In France, people are really not friendly or. Cold? Yeah, cold. That's what well, here in Tokyo, pe- actually, it's kind of you know, a rumor that in Tokyo people are colder and in Osaka people are very warm. But I don't think it's the case because whenever you go somewhere, you, f- you can find someone and ask them a question, they'll help you every time. And I think it's a very warm city, actually. Yes, <laughs> yes people are、um, more introvert, s it seems, but it's a warm introversion.、Yes. <laughs> Good,、uh, good comparison, I think. <laughs> so, what is the place you're most excited about? I was really excited about、uh, what we did yesterday, Akia,、uh, Akihabara. Akihabara? Yes. yes. Yeah. Do you like anime? What? Do you、uh, like anime? I do. I do. What's your favorite?、Uh, maybe too popular for,、uh, for Japanese, but One Piece. One Piece?、Uh, That's a very. Japanese people love One Piece actually,、okay. <laughs> uh, and now it's even made a live action movie. Yeah, I saw it.、But、did you saw it?、Uh, it's out yet? Yeah, it's out.、Oh, I didn't yeah, see I it haven't、yet. seen it yet.、I've, I'm not very much into One Piece, but it's a very popular anime. It's actually probably one of the most popular anime in, in Japan. Yeah. Yeah. And、so、what about you? Hunter x Hunter. Ah, Hunter x Hunter? Oh, it's nice. So, you guys are both anime fans? <laughs> yeah, kind of. Did you know something about Japan before coming? Or how did you research about your trip?、Uh, yes, we did,、uh, we did plan a lot our trip. Like, we have a big,、uh, big note with all the city we want to, do, we want to go to,、uh, all the history of the different、uh, yeah, places or、uh, temples, etc.、Mm. So, yes, we, we did a lot of research. And what is the thing you're most working forward to?、Uh, I think that. I, I am really looking for the museum、uh, Kyoto,、mm. like in general, but also、um, like. Geisha? Geisha? Kimono? Geisha? So, second?、Uh, in Kyoto. Kyoto. In Kyoto. The Maiko, maybe? Maiko, yes. Maiko. Yes. yes. You can see them in Kyoto. Are you gonna wear a kimono? 
<laughs> Maybe. <laughs> There's some rental services that uh, I think you'll look very beautiful. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm very happy that you joined the interview and I hope you have a great time in Japan. Thank you very, Thank much. You very much. Nice to meet you. Okay, thank you <laughs> for joining the interview. What's your name? Arthur. Arthur, where are you from? France. Are you working here? Yeah. What are I you work doing? in a sashimi restaurant. Oh. I give some coupons for the restaurant and I help to preparing the dish and make the table, clean the table, clean the dish and clean the restaurant and many different things. For how long have you been working in this uh, restaurant? I start in December, three months and after I quit because I travel in Japan and I come back here in the beginning of August. So in total I work for four months. Wow, so do you live in Japan? Yes, I have a working holiday visa so I spent five months in Tokyo and after I moved in Osaka, Kyushu and everywhere in Japan. Wow, that's so impressive. Amazing. So how has been your life in Tokyo so far? Uh, very busy. <laughs> I see. Very nice. Uh, I worked a lot, but Kyushu and Osaka, Okinawa was better. But Jap Tokyo is nice. There is ma many foreigner people. But yeah, I think I prefer South of Japan, it's more fun. Yeah, well, it's nice to see different perspective from people yeah. who actually worked here. So why Tsukiji? Why did you come here in Tsukiji? At first I found the, the, the announce on the internet. It was for a sashimi restaurant. So I said, okay, why not? I just arrived in Japan. I know nothing about sashimi. It's my first time I work in a restaurant in all of my life. So I said, okay, let's go. My boss is super nice, very generous, very funny, yeah, very cool. I love to walk in, to walk in this way. It was my favorite baito in, in Japan. No, I was very surprised because I was walking here and I saw you. Uh -huh. And at first I thought you were some tourist, but then I see you actually no. hand out <laughs> flyers and I was very impressed. Do you know Japanese? No, I'm just learning and going. I know a few words, but definitely I can't speak Japanese. What do you have to say when you give out the flyers? <laughs> <laughs> sashimi nombori, sen yen desu. It means sashimi nombori for 1000 yen. Yeah, yeah. Did you have any interesting experiences so far while working? Yeah, during the night sometimes I'm a little bit drunk because it's... Yeah, during the night it's more like izakaya style. Uh -huh. People drink a lot and sometimes they offer me a drink. Many, my boss give me many kind of food like, oh, try this, try this. So I discover so many things and I met so many nice people. Yeah, I met so many people in the street. Yeah. It's very cool too. It because seems very fun food. here. So what was your favorite place in Toto of all of Japan? Yakushima. Oh, I went there. Really? I went there two, one month ago. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So did you go hiking or? Yeah, but it was raining. I go hike. And the, the rain, but yeah. it, it rains good. a lot there. Yeah, yeah. Doing... Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. So, and what about your favorite food, Japanese food? Mm. It's too hard to say. Maybe maguro. Ma oh. It's red tuna. Okonomiyaki. Yeah. Very nice too. Is there something in Japan that ma like made you a bit shocked, like uh, compared to France? I think the people are very shy, and it's very hard to make friends. And sometimes I didn't know how to say the truth. I prefer like say nothing. And they are not direct. Like like more Western people, I think. If they have problem, if they have trouble, they will keep for them. And yeah. Well, it's part of Japanese culture to not want to interfere with other people's life. You don't want to give other people trouble by sharing your problems. So a lot of people are very shy and they don't share so much. Yeah. But it's a good thing and a, a bit bad thing because you can get close to people you know i think you probably felt that and in okinawa these people were more friendly well, yeah. maybe in osaka as well yeah osaka too i tried to make a to travel by hitchhiking 
I try around Tokyo, it was not very easy, but in Okinawa or in uh, Kyushu, like to just wait five minutes and someone pick up you and... Oh, it's, a... You've been through so many things, experiences here in Japan, yeah. different people, different... Like you work here, so I'm sure it was a good, valuable experience for life. Yeah, and... I tried many different kind of jobs, like working in a restaurant, I never did that before. Working for a video game company. Really? Yeah. What? I work in a tea farm. I work in many hostel, young hostel. Wait, isn't working holiday one year? Yeah. How? <laughs> just, just go on the internet. You can have so many things. Make your own network, chat with people. I'm very impressed right now. Yeah. Internet was my first place to find many things. Well, I'm really happy that you had so many different experiences and I learned a lot that I should also go out and try many different things. Mm -hmm. Like, in one year you lived probably 50 lives. <laughs> yeah, many people say, oh, you are lucky. No, I'm not lucky, just move your house. And... Just do everything you do it on your own. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes people help me a little bit. My best friend is living in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if, if, if you are friendly, if you are open with the other people, people will come to you and you, you talk. And uh, Sometimes I'm walking in the street, I have a friend, I, maybe he will pass a, a guy from Finland, he walk in a Wagyu restaurant. And yeah, he saw me give coupon in the street and it would chat and he give me Wagyu and he proposed, oh, you, you can walk to my restaurant too if you want it. To walking in a Wagyu restaurant, it's, it would be amazing too. But I say, no, my boss is so nice, I prefer staying with him. <laughs> And I go back home soon, so yeah. It was okay, necessary. thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed Welcome. the rest of your year here and have fun. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, nice to meet you guys. Nice you. I'm Tess, and could you please introduce yourselves? Yeah, hi, I'm Kelly. Uh, and I'm uh, Noah. So, so is it your first time in Japan? Yeah. Yes, it's our first time. Okay, and how did you end up in the Today, like so we, unusual place to visit. Yes, Korea. we wanted to go to Akihabara, and we had some free time on our way, yeah. so we just looked around the map, and I saw that there's the this uh, shrine here, yes. and it seemed pretty beautiful on yeah. the pictures. Yeah, we like so. to tour shrines uh, next week. We're going to Kyoto, which yes. has a lot of shrines, so it does. It's on our plan. Yeah, Wonderful. so we wanted to see mm -hmm. some unusual shrines as well, yeah. not just the main ones that of everyone course. goes to. Wow. Yeah. That's really nice that you must have found this place because I've been living here in Tokyo, but it's my first time. I live three nearby, mm -hmm. but it's the first time for me in, in Kanda as well. Yeah, wow, in okay. as well. <laughs> yeah. So I also like to ask you, why did you decide to visit Japan in the first place? So it's been my dream for a pretty long time uh, since I was a kid. Yes. Uh, not even because of like I know a lot of people come to Japan because they watch anime, so they're really into like all this anime culture and everything, but. I just fell in love with Japan and the views of Japan uh, since I've seen them uh, in pictures. Um, so it's always been a dream of mine. And yeah. food culture is a big also thing. Also, the food, yes. Yeah. Uh, in Israel, there's not much uh, Japanese food, and even when there is, they just try to make it Japanese, but it's, it's not as authentic, obviously. Um, and I've always wanted to try the food here. So, what kind of foods have you tried in Israel, the Japanese? Main, uh, how was mainly, that different? Mainly ramen. Ramen? Yeah. I'd say mainly uh, sushi. I think oh, sushi in also. the world in general, they always make like those rolls that are filled with like yeah, mayonnaise. Yeah, like the stuff. California roll. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, stuff yeah. Like so that. We've, we've had that and I've never liked it. it. Not even in Israel. It always felt like too much. Yeah. Uh, and here I tried the sushi here and it's, And it's, how was that? It's completely different. I love that you can actually taste the fish. Because yes. uh, when they fill it up, like in the California roll, you can't get the taste. And here, I love, I love the taste of the fish here. Yeah, what was it called? The otoro. fatty otoro. The otoro. otoro. Oh, was that was very, delicious. very nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's so much variety. Exactly, you can yeah. actually feel the difference. It's actually crazy that abroad people or we think that the California roll is sushi. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not. It's just not. not. <laughs> it's exactly. just kind of crazy. Yeah, I don't know how. Yeah. Anyway, but so you say that it was so you were looking at Japanese photography, then that got yes. you interested. Yes. Like what type of uh, just like I think general views yeah. mostly. I think seeing Mount Fuji for the first yes. time in a picture it's... was like breathtaking. <laughs> yeah. And from there it went on to 
all other photography. Obviously, like the cherry blossom, even though we're not here during the season, but uh, looking at the cherry blossom always makes people, I think, really taken away from the from the view. Yeah. So um, I think just ma mainly Mount Fuji. Yeah. Do you go and find Mount, or are you going? I don't know when did you get here to uh, no, Japan? No, just only, a couple of days ago. A couple of days ago. Oh, yeah, we're here during uh, this season, which is not the best. For either cherry blossom or Mount Fuji. Uh, you can yeah. still go and have a nice view of Mount Fuji from maybe an onsen, like a hot spring. Um, yes, we are in, going to in Tumal. Yeah, yeah. exactly, to exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, what did you do so far in these few days that you spent um, here? We mainly just uh, visited, the, yeah, we mainly went around the main areas of Tokyo, like Shifuku and Shibuya, mm -hmm. uh, went to arcades a lot. Had a lot arcades. of fun. To, yeah, arcades, arcades. Yeah. Yes. Had a lot of fun in uh, arcades. Uh, that was. Oh, our... like in the short Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah uh, the rhythm games with uh, the drumming. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> in, in arcades, like where yeah. they have the gachapon. Yes. Uh, so they also have like games. I like, see. Uh, yeah. So there's like rhythm games. Yeah. Uh, so we really enjoyed that. Oh wow! So are you into uh, gaming as well? Yeah, a little bit. Or no, Japanese. <laughs> yeah, yeah, gaming. Yeah. Uh, we are already kind of into that, and also food. Uh, when to eat as much as we can. <laughs> so what food plans do you have for the rest of the day? Uh, for the rest of the day, honestly, uh, we haven't tried the Japanese curry yet. Okay. So we yeah, might give that list. a try. If you want good curry, you should go to nearby. There's a place called the Jimboto. Okay. And actually here in Kanda as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh -huh. Actually this area is famous for curry. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> so if okay. you have some places, right. Kanda and the Jimboto is the station near next to it. Mm -hmm. and there's lots of curry places. Yeah, okay. we'll definitely check it out. So you're we'll yeah, yeah, yeah. in the right area for that. <laughs> right. We're also going to watch sumo today, so that's another. Yeah, yeah. The, sumo, uh, the sumo tournament. Oh, yeah. 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 How did you find the tickets for that? Was that on a Get Your Guide? Uh, no, it wasn't on a Get Your Guide. There's a site called Buy Sumo Tickets, which is actually just one guy who's really, really loves sumo, yeah. and he really wants as much as many people to experience sumo. So he's yeah. really helpful. He helps you get the tickets and he sends them to your hotel. So it's very, very uh, comfortable. Oh wow, that's super exciting. Mm -hmm. So if you, I don't know if you've been yet to a place called Yogoku in uh, close to Asakusa. You might have no, we haven't, might go we haven't been to Asakusa. Asakusa has yeah. a very big one. It's probably the, it's quite more one because lots of people. Uh -huh. and it's like a big temple. But uh, a few stations away from that, there's a place called Yogoku, which is the most famous thing in Tokyo for sumo. Mm -hmm. wrestlers, so you might see them Okay. Mine. Yeah. Okay. And there's a shop there. There are huge like shops there that sell real stuff for sumo oh. wrestlers. And you know how they use this oil to, to, yeah, get, their to hair, get their hair to get their hair up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and it's a very specific uh, sumo. Well, it's not like an oil ring. It's like a ball. Uh -huh. And uh, it's for me, it's a ginger tip. And um, if you, I mean, yeah, I bought it there once because it's kind of I don't know cool to know what smells. What, like. yeah. If you. The other day, I saw a sumo wrestler passing by, and uh -huh. I smelled his hair and I was like, "Oh, it's the, the one that I have at home." Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you, will, you, you know, end up burning. Oh, the smell. Normally, they say that you can tell if there's a sumo nearby by, by, the, just smell. by the smell. So you smell them before uh, you see them. In okay. some cases, not always. Maybe it'll work on your hair. Yeah. Do, you, do you use any balm? Yeah, uh, yeah, a bit. Yeah. So maybe we will get maybe that one for you. Yeah, yeah, you. yeah, I should try, try it. Sumo one. <laughs> Thank, you so Thank you so much. Okay, so nice to meet you. I am Tess, and could you please introduce yourselves? What's your name and where are you from? My name is uh, Jacqueline, I'm from, from France, I'm from Bordeaux. Bordeaux. And I'm looking to retire. Retired, <laughs> okay, yes. that's wonderful. Yes. <laughs> I guess, <laughs> I guess, how is it? <laughs> what about you? Uh, I'm Working. <laughs> You're working. Wonderful. So when did you arrive in Japan? Uh, we arrived yesterday. Just yesterday. Yes. yes. This is a night. Yes. It's our first day. Oh wow! And you chose the Kanda <laughs> Yojin. Um, How did you end up it's, here? <laughs> uh, it's because of our guide. Oh, so you're <laughs> a guide? <laughs> okay. Yes. The guide for the. Um, for uh, the, the morning, morning. Yes. yes, just for the, yes. the show uh, uh, 
some places where don't tourists uh, tourist don't go. Yes. Oui. <laughs> right, uh, right. Uh, yeah, I was wondering how do you end up here <laughs> <You don't laughs> with someone telling you. So, okay, you got a good guide. Nice. Yes. And why did you choose to come to Japan? What brings you here? The culture and the buildings and the temples. And today we different of our content. Yes. Uh, we travel of other uh, country. <laughs> I speak a little <laughs> Spanish before I learn Spanish. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes, nice. And uh, Japan is a bowl. First, but uh, it's my 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 uh, daughter. Yeah. Daughter. Yes. You insist. <laughs> oh yeah, you insisted. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> why? why? Well, uh, it's really different from all the travels we made, and um, it was like a dream uh, to travel and to country. So it was uh, the occasion to go because it's the end of my working contract. So nice. I said, let's go to Japan and, uh, and yes. visit. So how have you enjoyed it so far? Have you had any good or bad experiences on this one day? What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> Just this morning, uh, it's uh, really clean, uh, really nice, and uh, we go more, more, more and yes, in the, in the next day. What do you think about this temple? Well, we just entered, but well, uh, it's really beautiful. Or the shrine, yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, shrine rather. <laughs> so, what plans do you have after Tokyo? We go to Kyoto, Suzanji, Izu, then Kyoto, and wonderful. Arigatou gozaimasu. I hope you enjoy it. Merci beaucoup. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yes. Yes. ちょっと
面白くて、はい、なんかその日本の文化を結構いろいろ体験とかさせていただいてるんですけど、はい、今回は初めて、まあ、落語とかそういうジャパニーズマジックとかなんていうマジックって感じなかったもうなんかパフォーマンスを見てずっと笑ってて<笑>それが一番良かったなと思います,す、ね、いや本当に学びになったことはありますかあそうね例えばマジックって、まあ、魔法という意味があるねマジックって言ったらいい意味じゃなくて悪い意味でみんなとなんかをあの思ってるけど今日みたいは多分そんなに悪い意味ではないかなと思ってもう普通に人生の楽しみ方っていうかマジックもう一つのものではないかなということを勉強になりました。はい、素晴らしいです、ね。ありがとうございます。<笑>ありがとうございます。皆様今回の動画はいかがだったでしょうか。もし楽しかったねって思っていただけたらチャンネル登録も忘れないでください。そしてつぶチャンネルもぜひ見に来てください。次回お会いしましょう。ありがとうございます。